Hello students, looking at current affairs for 10th April, the news items picked up from the Hindu newspaper are these seven, we will look at them in detail. The first one, no significant rate of increase in COVID-19 positive cases. So Indian Council of Medical Research has said that the country has maintained a steady rate of COVID-19 positive cases at 3 to 5 percent over the past month and a half and has not registered any significant increase in this trend. It means that out of the 1,44,910 samples tested so far from 1,30,792 individuals. Some individuals undergo a repeat test too. So these tests have been conducted as of April 9, 2020. And out of these, 5,734 samples have tested positive. So the percentage of positive cases is between 3 to 5 percent. So this has been a trend and there's no significant increase is what ICMR maintains. ICMR also said it is in the final stages of drawing up a protocol for trial on convalescent plasma therapy. So what is it? We'll see about it too. So its approval has already been taken. So protocol for the trial would be put forth by ICMR soon. So this is a therapy to treat COVID-19, convalescent plasma therapy. So in this therapy, plasma, so the blood plasma as such, would be taken from COVID-19 recovered patients. So patients who have recovered from COVID-19 and are healthy now. So their plasma would be taken and transfused into an infected, severely ill patient. So the COVID-19 recovered patients has specific antibodies in the blood developed to fight COVID-19. So those antibodies will be coming in the blood of the severely ill patient and will help the patient fight the infection. So that is convalescent plasma therapy. So it would be conducted in the country. Health Ministry has also said two of its labs have started whole genome sequencing of COVID-19 virus too. So here you can see Kerala is has also got approval from ICMR to conduct uh, the convalescent plasma therapy too. So it will be initiating that. So here is uh, how Kerala is also um, fewer uh, confirmed cases despite high testing rate. So that shows number of cases in India are not quite high. That's what ICMR is claiming. Then this is about how Kerala has got not for trial of plasma therapy from ICMR. So it's going to initiate this. Also, you should know that convalescent plasma therapy has already been used to treat other diseases, epidemics like H1N1, SARS and Ebola. So it has been successfully used earlier. Then this is the detail given about how convalescent plasma therapy works. So you can see this is a COVID-19 patient and uh, he has recovered so blood is drawn from him and virus neutralizing antibodies are taken and this serum is then given to a patient suffering from COVID-19. So this is the detail given. Then next is study points to community transmission. So there is a study which has been published in a research study in Indian Journal of Medical Research and the study has been authored by several ICMR scientists including ICMR head Balram Bhargava. And this study says that community transmission has taken place in the country. Evidence of community transmission has been there in the country uh, since as early as March 22. So the community transmission basically means that patients who are suffering from COVID-19 they have no established contact with some uh, someone who had picked up the disease from abroad so still they are being suffering so means a person who has because the disease has come from abroad so a person who has who is suffering from the disease and has come from abroad he may uh, spread it to another person so that is local transmission but then from other persons when it transmits further so that is called community transmission so person who is infected but has no history of traveling abroad and no contact with anybody who has traveled abroad that means that community transmission has taken place so this is what ICMR scientists have claimed in this study that the community transmission is taking place though official position of ICMR continues to be that there is no evidence of community transmission as of date. Then next here you can see this is about uh, number of patients as such with severe acute respiratory illness. So number of such patients tested and number of them have been positive. So the rate is low. 
Then next is Odisha becomes first state to extend lockdown till April 30. So Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik has extended the lockdown till April 30, 2020 in the state. So other states may also follow suit and extend the lockdown, which is evident from the news which is coming. Even here in Delhi, you can see Kejriwal launches Operation Shield against COVID-19. So Delhi government will carry out Operation Shield at 20 location, 21 locations identified in the in Delhi as containment zones. So the her shield would stand for you can see S is for sealing in the immediate area after geographical marking. So the area would be sealed. H is for home quarantine. I is for isolation and tracing of people who have been first and second contacts. E is for essential supplies. Uh, the government ensures that a doorstep delivery of essential items and door to would take place. So essential supplies would be there in place. L is for local sanitization and disinfection of areas. And D finally stands for door-to-door -door checking. So that people having symptoms of COVID-19 are isolated and tested. So this is Operation Shield of Delhi government. Then next is rupees 15,000 crore sanctioned to states. So central government has announced 15,000 crore to states under the India COVID-19 Emergency Response and Health System Preparedness Package. This is a 100% centrally funded scheme and will be utilized for immediate COVID-19 emergency response as well as for medium term support which may go up to 4 years. So states have been sanctioned this amount by center. So it would be used for establishing health care system, health infrastructure. The next is Google must pay news firms for content, says France. So France's competition regulator has ruled that Google must start paying media groups for displaying their content. So it has ordered uh, Google to in begin negotiations. For months, Google has been delaying this. It has, it has been delaying to comply with the new digital copyright law of Europe. So France brought it into effect on October 2000, in October 2019. So the EU law was ratified by France. It became the first country to ratify the EU law too. And when and the, what is expected is Google should pay remuneration to the media firms. And this remuneration will apply retroactively from October 2019, the date of ratification of the EU law in France. So the new rule in these law in this US European law is neighboring rights so this basically means that news publishers are to be compensated when their work is shown on websites search engines and social media platforms so google in its on its search engine has the media firms content displayed so they so the details are displayed you can see the headline is displayed the articles are displayed snippets of articles are displayed pictures videos so Google says that we would continue to do this as long as the media firms comply with it. If they don't comply, if they refuse to comply with Google rules, to uh, provide access to Google to all these at no cost. Means Google will not pay them anything. So if Google says if they don't want to, if they refuse, then only a headline and bare link to the content will appear. So they will refuse as such. So... But then if such a scenario happens, then the media firms, the publishers would uh, would lose visibility and potential ad revenue. So that's the case. So Google has now started uh, negotiating with some publishers too. And uh, French regulator says that Google's practices actually are likely to constitute an abuse of dominant position too, and cause serious and immediate harm to the press, press sector. So there's still a deadlock about how this issue would be resolved now. So, news publishers have been lobbying intensively for making Google pay them. So Google basically is a news aggregator. So news publishers want to charge Google. So, this is so it says that as soon as they tried to enforce this right, Google stopped like one of the publishers when they uh, when they tried to enforce the right under EU law, Google stopped indexing it. So this led to 80% drop in traffic for the news firm. So that's what happened. So, so Google also did another action. It removed Google News altogether from Spain, leading to an accumulated drop of 20% of traffic overnight for publishers. And the last news is industrial output grows 4.5% in February. 
so this is regarding iip index of industrial production so for the month of feb 2020 the trigger is 4.5% according to data released by nso national statistical office so feb 2020 uh, uh, iip was uh, an improvement for second straight month after contraction in december 2019 so iip is also likely to plunge drastically again for march 2020 due to the lockdown caused by covid-19 which has resulted in a halt in the most businesses so this is iip figure you can see over the months it's shown here how it took a dip was in the negative and then has come back to so that is it thank you